Okay, hello and welcome. My name is Andy Price and I'm a subject leader here at Bayhouse Sixth Form for Maths. And today I'm just going to take you through a few details surrounding taking maths at A-level um, at the Sixth Form here. So starting off, a bit of information about the subjects in general. Um, if you're enjoying maths that you do at GCSE, then the maths you do at A-level will be excellent and you will very much enjoy that as well. Um, carries it on, it, it develops it, okay, it brings in more problem solving style um, applications of the same mathematics and furthers your knowledge of various mathematical topics. It complements well with other A-level subjects um, and is excellent preparation for lots of different degree options that you might be thinking of going forward. Um, it's not a subject that requires you to remember lots, but rather to be able to problem solve and logically think through different situations um, and different problems. The minimum entry requirements for um, A-level mathematics is a 6 at GCSE in maths and a 4 at, in English language. Um, and if you do attend with a 6, you will be uh, required to go to an additional support session because um, mathematics is a difficult subject and you will need a little bit of extra support in your timetable um, if you're coming in with a six. So these are our examination results from the past two years. I've included the results from uh, 2019 as well as 2020. Uh, 2021's obviously with this um, crazy year that we've had this year um, are um, CAGs and um, what that means is they are centre assessment grades and were uh, produced by us as a centre uh, rather than the students actually sitting an exam whereas the A-level Maths 2019 were our most recent set of exam results that where the pupils sat an exam in the upper sixth. Right, a brief overview of the course. So the course consists of pure mathematics. So pure mathematics is essentially what you've been doing most of at GCSE or what pupils would have been doing most of at GCSE prior to attending um, a college. So this is your algebra skills. It's uh, bringing in new topics such as calculus, so integration and differentiation. Um, and really working with sort of the, the normal skills, trigonometry, Pythagoras, those sort of things that come up in maths a lot. Applied mathematics is more to do with statistics and mechanics. They're the two things that we do in our applied mechanics section at A-level. So statistics, that's your graphs, your averages, your probabilities. And mechanics is to do with forces and motion. Okay, it's quite it has strong ties with physics for mechanics. Um, Pure is worth two thirds of the A-level and is assessed through two two-hour examinations at the end of the upper sixth year. Um, and applied is worth one third of the final grade and is assessed with just one two hour examination, half of that examination being stats and half of that being mechanics. Um, you will study a mixture of both of those things throughout the two years and will be um, split and that study will be split between two teachers. So one of your teachers will be specializing in statistics and one of them specializing in mechanics and they will both do a bit of the pure content. Um, Obviously, you have about nine contact hours over a fortnight um, for any subjects you do here, and that applies to maths, unless you are required to take that extra um, essential skill or you need that extra support session in place for you. Uh, the exam board that we do at uh, Bayhouse is Edexcel for mathematics. Right, so why should you choose maths? Well, there's lots of different reasons for choosing mathematics. Um, you can see an image at the top of your screen there, which um, has just got a few careers in it that um, mathematics is involved in. Um, it's essentially, it's going to increase your, your knowledge of mathematical techniques and their applications. It's going to support yourself in lots of other mathematical studies. There's loads of other um, subjects which require quite a heavy load of maths use, lots of the, uh, particularly the sciences, um, but also stuff like the social sciences and geography, etc., um, and business. It'll help with your logical thinking and your problem solving. Um, it's widely regarded as a, as a very good A-level to have um, when you're applying for universities, so it's highly rated by universities and is well respected by other employers as well. Um, 
Although rather than me just tell you um, why you should use maths, I've also been out and spoken to a few of our uh, current upper sixth students who are currently studying mathematics and I asked them three questions. So let them tell them tell you why you should study uh, maths. So first of all, I asked them, why did they choose A-level maths? Uh, I chose A-level maths because I enjoyed it from GCSE and I would like to take it into the future. I chose A-level maths because I enjoyed it in GCSE and you can go into many careers with it in the future. Uh, I wanted to do a degree in medicine. I thought maths was a good subject that was reputable, so that's okay. I then asked, what did they enjoy most about A-level maths? Uh, I like uh, learning just like new concepts and learning new problem solving techniques. I enjoy the problem solving aspect of it and also learning challenging content. Uh, I probably enjoy the pure the most but I like it because you can think about the abstract things and then sort of apply them to real life situations. And finally I asked if they had a favourite topic or subject. I think my favourite topic would be mechanics as it ties in nicely with the other topics in physics that I do. I enjoy binomial expansion, also in trig identities. I just trig number two, generally. Okay, so some um, interesting views there of why you, why you should study maths. So in terms of uh, extra information that you may be interested in, um, A-level uh, further maths, which you may also have uh, watched the taster video for, um, is a separate A-level. And if you choose just to study maths at A-level as one of your four choices, you can still take an AS in further maths in your second year if you achieve a good grade in the lower sixth year. Um, we also run support sessions in the second year, and these will be for anyone looking to apply to a, a heavily maths-based degree. And if you were going to do that, you may be asked to sit an entrance exam for that degree and we offer a session a weekly one hour session to support you with that if you are required to sit one of those um, at the end or in the in the upper sixth year and um, each year we also run the senior maths challenge so you may well have done this um, in the lower school it continues into the um, sixth form as well and all uh, mathematics students are welcome to participate in that which we run each november we also run the essential skills classes, which I've mentioned, um, that are there to support those grade sixes or anyone finding the lower sixth year particularly challenging. And there are various other trips that we run as well, including a, um, a maths inspiration trip, which we normally go out in the October um, of the lower sixth year, which is where we go and we look at uh, or we watch lectures from various inspiring and um, uh, well-known mathematicians on how they use maths in their fields, which is excellent and well worth um, giving a look at. Okay, finally, that's, a, that's sort of the brief overview. Um, if you've got any existing questions, there is a web link and a QR code on the screen right now. Um, if you go to that web link, you will um, find a forum where you can ask any questions that you may have, um, and I will reply to those as best as I can. Thanks for listening.